What is an index in, in a web and how does the graph do it? Story number one, a very basics of the graph technology. We all have tremendous amounts of data around us. Lists for shopping, to-do lists for work, calendar schedule, infinite data on the internet. When you compile a list of what to buy during your next grocery store visit, you usually do this as a sum sequence of items. The goods on the list are sorted in some way, usually by importance for consumption. For example, some meat, greens and drinks may be located at the top of the list, so they are the most important part of your ration, and you usually number the items in your list by 1, 2, 3, etc. In other words, you index these items, which may be food items for the food store visit, for example, you do indexing. So you can say items from 1 to 5 are important and a must for buying, but if you won't buy items from 6 to 8, it doesn't matter. Internet indexing. As you guessed, items on the internet, from websites to various pieces of data of any size and type, also need to be indexed, and various types of indexes are needed for each type. When you search for some information on the internet using some search engine, such as Yahoo Search or Bing, for example, the engine displays you a list of results instantly, in less than a second, if you have a solid internet connection. Why is it so fast? The engine scans all the internet after you click the search button or not. No, it uses indexes of all of these web pages to match them quickly according to your search request or so-called query. That's how indexing simplifies our lives when we use the search option on the internet. Database indexing. When you register at some online shop, all your data is put into a database. It is very convenient to store all the data of shop customers in one barrel. To quickly detect which user is logging into the online shop, a shop's website queries this barrel or database and quickly finds which personal account is to show in a browser's page. All the customers are indexed, so it's very fast. So the database is just a barrel with indexed items. Blockchain its indexing and the graph role. Imagine that there is some database and no one can change the data inside it. Any data is eternal and will exist until a database exists. For example, driver's licenses are stored in such a database, so no one can add fake license data there. Or remove or modify data regarding purchased goods in an online shop. This database is a blockchain. It is distributed among many computers and each one stores a unique copy of a database. Trying to fake it leads to a mismatch with other copies on the computers, which is revealed immediately. The data in the blockchain database is divided into blocks, like blocks on a building site. When one block is full of data, the data is put in the second block. That is why the interesting title of the database is blockchain. As databases contain data, it has to be indexed for fast extraction as usage. Because searching the blockchain for data is time-consuming and expensive, we need a search engine that will index all of this data, extract it and deliver it to consumers quickly. The first solution of this task was to get around the core of the issue. Specific web applications that extract data from blockchain and store it in an ordinary database, one which may be modified, were created. Any user can get an access to such modifiable databases or centralized ones, because they are on the only server which is under control of someone. Any user can get this access using specific websites. These websites are called blog explorers. For example, if you need to get data regarding your transaction you have sent in the Ethereum blockchain, you go to the website etherscan.io 
and enter your transaction hash or wallet address. Then etherscan.io extracts the data from centralized database. This data was preliminarily put into this database from blockchain. So we have third party. We have to trust it and we have to trust it doesn't fake the data. We may trust it to a certain degree, but obviously it's better to remove this third party and obtain data directly from the blockchain. It's so important for decentralized applications like exchanges. When a trade transaction executed, it is necessary to have all immediate information directly from the blockchain, third-party database operating with a delay, and it's not an option. The solution is the graph. It is a decentralized protocol not controlled by some single party, and it indexes the blockchain and delivers any data in a fast, credible and verifiable way. The graph is used by primary players in a field of decentralized trading applications and much more. Uniswap, Banker and AIV as the most known worldwide examples. Such is the epochal challenge in the world of decentralization and Web3. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe CryptoRocky on Telegram and Twitter.